In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus as we take our seats. Amen. Okay, now this is a time where we as sisters, as mothers, we want to thank God for all that he has done. We're here last year, and now this year we counted, and none is missing. Let's jam those hands together for Jesus. To this end, all the one mother, sisters, if you know you're a female, please, let's go to the back and dance forward. Amen. Please, let's stand up from us. If you are a female, whether today is your first time or today is your tenth time, please, let's rise to our feet, go to the back and dance. But we want to thank God because God has kept us, because God has called us to be mothers, because God has called us to be sisters. Amen. I've still seen females on their seats. All the sisters, all our mothers, please, let's file out. All right. Let's thank God. Amen. <laughs> Please let's dance so.
pastor for the Father's blessing. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I want to believe that everyone that is not out here is a man. Not identify as a man, but is a man. Praise God. For children of God, your gender and your identification must be the same. There must be alignment. Correct? Before we pray, I want to celebrate all of you, women, ladies, girls. Please, people of God, let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Amen. And you have so organized this year's Mother's Day that is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm not supposed to say this, but I can tell you that uh, as the program was going on, I was at the back. Some of us men were putting our heads together. And what we were saying was, as the Father's Day is coming, pressure to wa. Pressure to wa by because. <laughs> but we assure you that we will surprise you. Eh? We will surprise you. Where are they? Ashua, where are you? Are we going to surprise them or not? Great. Glory be to God. We want to celebrate you. And um, we trust that you will continue to stand for God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Lord. Just stand, don't worry. Father, thank you for all your daughters. Thank you for their lives. And thank you for all that you have done in them. Thank you for making them our joy, our pride. We look at you. You are different from those people that are out there. You model the intention of God. You, you make him glad. Father, receive our praises on behalf of your daughters in Jesus' name. I pray that you will continue to make him glad. I pray that your life will please him. Your life will bring joy to the heart of our God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm praying that the grace to continue to please him, the Lord will give to you. The grace to walk in righteousness, to walk in holiness. The grace not to follow the crowd. The grace not to be influenced by the spirit of this age. The grace not to be influenced by the spirit of worldliness. May it be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that that strange spirit of this generation that pushes women, ladies out there to do unimaginable things, to invent evil, it will be far from you. But the spirit of God, the same that was in Deborah, the same that was in Esther, the spirit of God and grace that made them to be defenders of territories that made them to implement wisdom at home because say every wise woman buildeth her own home receive it in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that you will be an asset to anybody that relates with you there are some ladies some women they are liabilities for you you will be assets you will be assets I pray that the spirit of favor will be upon you. When those of you that are single, when a, a guy, a brother gets into a relationship with you, that period in their life, they will experience promotion. They will experience increase. They will know that you're coming into their life as brought goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. Any one of you that carries the spirit of negativity will reverse it right now. Any of you that carries around the spirit of ill luck and bad luck, that anyone who says, let's see if we can get married together, things will scatter for them. We reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. All those of you that are single this year, we are praying for you that by this time next year, God would have settled you. 
no matter how long it has delayed right now in the name of Jesus we knock on the door of heaven let the right husbands come in the name of Jesus all those of you that are suffering a particular challenge because there is a claim in the spirit world against you you know that power that force is appearing to all the people that want to marry you and is traumatizing them is embarrassing them is harassing them we speak in the name of jesus that today that claim is cancelled they don't have the power to own you so no matter what the legal ground we are asking that mercy will reverse the claim I speak that in the name of Jesus. Let the door to marriage is open in the name of Jesus. There's someone here this morning. It's a family thing. Your sisters are also not married. And one of them is like 43. In the name of Jesus. That thing. Oh my God. Makoshka Borasato. On your behalf we claim an exemption. From that strange covenant. From that strange evil on your behalf we claim an exemption go and marry in the name of jesus go and marry in the name of jesus every spell because at the beginning of this year one of the things the lord said to me was marriages and we are glad because many people are getting married this year alone already but it is not yet there that is why we are praying every spell of singleness that God has not created we reverse it now every one of you that maybe you jilted someone before you were born again the time of or ignorance you jilted someone and then they place the curse on you right now mercy reverses the curse God's mercy reverses the curse by this time next year oh god let these people have made significant progress in the name of jesus christ i'm asking that god will put money in your hands i want to see that our women are financially viable economically viable i pray oh god open up the doors of ideas of wisdom unto these women in the name of jesus christ all those of you looking for jobs i pray god provide jobs for them you see when when you are you are financially challenged it puts pressure on your ability to be a remnant when you don't have money when you cannot eat when you cannot by the necessary things of life this pressure to compromise is elevated that's why i'm praying oh god for all these women lord settle them financially in the name of jesus christ settle them financially in the name of jesus christ i pray through you life will spring up in your families again through you, life will spring up in your community again. In the name of Jesus Christ. While the message was going on, one of the words that was said was, it is no longer humility to remain hidden. I pray that in the name of Jesus, your glory will shine for. It says, arise and shine. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. In this season, let your light shine. In this season, let your star shine. In this season, let your glory come forth. In this season, the darkness over your life is removed. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. In the name of Jesus Christ. That person saying that, I'm trying to touch this thing it's not working right now I pray that God brings it within your reach God brings it within your reach as you leave this place today you stretch forth your hand you will touch it when you stretch forth your hand you will touch it favor comes upon you 
favor comes upon you favor comes upon you in your business receive favor in your place of work receive favor in the name of Jesus Christ I'm speaking over your life all of you that very soon you will put your hand into your pocket into your bank account what will come out of it your parents will be happy those of you that are here today you are praying with all your heart because as at now you are still a liability to your parent oh god of heaven i'm asking on behalf of all these women that by this time next year if you tarry all of them will be assets god bless you god blesses the works of your hand i speak the blessing over the fruit of your womb i speak the blessing over everything you touch it is now different pray where you have compromised before let god turn things around for you receive grace to stand for god receive grace to speak for god receive grace to do everything god wants you to do thank you faithful father we will not lose any of you with long life god will satisfy you there are all manner of strange sicknesses in the world today I pray that strange sicknesses will be far from you. You will not be a dumping ground for sicknesses and diseases. Till old age, if Jesus tarries, you will be strong. You will be healthy. And you will prosper. Father, we give you thanks. We bless your most holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day.